Gravitational lenses are rare, but quasars acting as gravitational lenses. That's almost unheard of. Only three had ever been confirmed. Until now, a new machine learning breakthrough has just doubled that number. Using data from the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, DSI astronomers scanned over 812,000 quasars, and they uncovered seven new high-quality candidates. To understand why this matters, you need to know how insane these systems are. A quasar is already one of the brightest objects in the universe, powered by a supermassive black hole devouring matter at the center of a galaxy. Normally, their blinding light overwhelms everything around them. But if a distant galaxy sits perfectly behind that quasar, gravity bends its light into arcs or multiple images. The gravitational lens. The problem, these background galaxies are so faint and tiny that you can't see them from the ground. So, the team turned to spectroscopy. If both galaxies, the quasar in front and the lensed galaxy behind, fall into the same desi fiber, you get two sets of emission lines, one at the quasar's redshift and another at a higher redshift from the hidden background galaxy. But real quasar lenses are so rare, you can't train AI on actual examples. So the researchers built synthetic ones. They combined real desi quasar spectra with real spectra of high redshift galaxies, creating 3,000 artificial lenses to teach the neural network what to look for. The result, the AI reached a mind-blowing accuracy an AUC of 0 0.99. And when it scanned Desi's first major data release, it found seven great Aquasa lenses, each showing clean oxygen emission at a higher redshift than the quasar. Why is this huge? Because quasar lenses give us something almost impossible, a direct way to measure the mass of the quasar as host galaxy by using its Einstein radius. Lensin reveals what the quasar's glare normally hides. And that means we're finally cracking one of the biggest mysteries in astronomy. How supermassive black holes and their galaxies grew together across cosmic time. Machine learning isn't just finding new objects, it's rewriting the way we explore the universe.